Hey, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So as you can tell per the title, we are going to be installing the man in the box intake on the Honda Navi. So I bought a separate uh, crankcase uh, air filter. I got this at Advance. I'll have a link down in the description. I think it was like 10 bucks. Okay, so here is the filter that's provided. It, okay, the hardware, the bracket, the clamps, the hose, okay, so that's very important. And then here is the the jets uh, for the carb. I think I'm gonna do that in a separate video. I'm gonna do a separate video for the carb, how to remove the carb and put the jets in, and then the intake. I just, because I don't wanna make this video super extremely long and I got soap. And then a advertisement for the small bore. Hopefully, I'll be able to bring the Grom uh, and the Navi both to this, but. First things first, let's go ahead and get this uh, factory air box off so we can get the new uh, man in the box intake on. Oh, one other thing before we get completely started. As you can see, I was going to, you guys were supposed to be getting a Vance and Hines exhaust install video, but the bracket on the muffler uh, is messed up. I can't fit my hardware in there, but uh, I've reached out to them. Hopefully, they, I'm pretty sure, haven't heard anything back from them, but they're supposed to be sending me a new muffler and some hardware. So. That should be the next video. I was super excited about getting this that this Vance and Hines exhaust on, but it just wasn't gonna work. All right, back to the Navi. Yeah. Okay, first things first. Let's go ahead and get these uh, get these screws out of the actual air box itself. It appears there's one, two, three, four. There's five of these uh, that you need to remove. Did I miss one? Ah, I did miss one. There's, there's another one uh, right here that I missed, so I'm gonna actually get a screwdriver for that one. Okay, got all of them. Okay, so here is the filter cover, the actual filter itself. Obviously, it should be uh, brand new. Okay, we're gonna disconnect this clamp here, and then we need to further remove the uh, the rest of the air box. All right, next, we're gonna remove a 10 millimeter bolt there. There's one here, and there's one here, and then there's one under here that you need to remove. Like I said, that is a 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, there is another one that snuck up on me. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There's another one. No, the camera doesn't wanna focus. There's another one right there that you need to get. That's behind this uh, behind this fender. Let's get that one out. All right, the next step is kind of a pain in the rear. Uh, you got to get up under here. So here is how you can see the uh, carb, and then there's a clamp that's on the back of here. Let me go ahead and remove this air box. I didn't get that. Could well, you try again? Thanks, Siri. Anyways, there is a clamp. That's, sure thing. That's on here that you need to um, to get off. I just got a little stubby screwdriver, unscrewed it a couple turns and was able to pull the air box right out. And then we need to uh, disconnect that hose as well. There you go. All right, the next step is, as you can see here, I took the uh, hose and I got the clamp on. Not tightened, not tighten, just started. We got one more hose clamp. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and feed the uh, air filter on and then we'll build the uh, actual bracket side next. Okay, I got a little ahead of myself. So you wanna mock up your uh, design just like mine. Uh, this is going to be the side that goes onto the bike. You need another clamp, actual hose filter clamp. And then this bracket piece slides in to this part of the hose and then it slides into this part of the filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on now, tighten this part and then we're gonna adjust this side because I believe the the bracket piece here is gonna go right back here. So it shouldn't be a problem. Let me get everything tightened on the left-hand side and then we'll worry about filter placement and getting this bracket lined up correctly. All right, the next thing I'm doing is they give you a supplied washer uh, and screw. I'm gonna go ahead and screw the uh, bracket in now to get that nice and secure. Okay. And then next we have the actual filter that needs to go on. Oh, whoops, 
Let's put the let's put our clamp on there first. Okay, I'm gonna switch that because that's gonna bother me. The orientation of both of those are off. Okay, so here is pretty much the uh, first look of what the intake is going to look like. Let me get these two hose clamps tightened and, uh, yep, we're one step closer to getting it fired up. We're going to cut this hose here and make our crank and put our little crankcase filter somewhere back here. I'll show you that as well. All right, here's the first look of the Honda Navi intake provided by Man in the Box. Um, as you can see, I'm going to figure out something to do with this hose. Probably going to cut it off and then cap it so it can still breathe a little bit. And as far as this, I'm probably, like I said, I'm probably going to cut back to here and let the filter hang out somewhere right in this area. So let me make a few cuts and then we'll throw, uh, we'll throw this filter on. I got black, so it'll kind of be stealthy for the crankcase. So, uh, yeah, let me get that done now and then we'll fire this bad boy up. And it is only about 45 out, so it's probably going to, uh, take a minute to get this thing fired up and ready to go. Okay, this is about how much, I think it was on this side. This is about how much I cut off. So I cut off a couple inches, cut this black uh, insulated rubber piece, and then we were able to slide this uh, right on just like that. And all I have to do is go back and put the little hose clamp on. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna run through, make sure I got everything tight. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna crank this bad boy up for the first time and see what she sounds like. All right, let's get this bad boy started for the first time with the new intake. Here we go. We turn the choke on. I'm gonna let the bike warm up, but already I can definitely hear the uh, tell the difference in the induction noise. Like I said, let me get the bike warmed up, and uh, we'll give it some revs. It's extremely cold. I got full choke on already. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it, the choke completely on and let the bike warm up some more. You can definitely hear the intake though. All right, the bike is now warmed up, so let's go ahead and uh, give her some reps. It definitely sounds, sounds good. All right, I'm gonna get the bike off the stand and uh, I'm gonna take it down the road and uh, see how the intake performs. See if I can actually feel any difference when the butt die now. Just straight off, uh, straight off the rip, just from going for that brief little ride, I will tell you that the bike definitely feels like it has a lot more torque a lot more pickup and of course you can tell uh, the induction noise itself. I think it sounds pretty good. Let me give it some rev. It sounds pretty good. Um, all in all, yes, I am extremely, extremely happy uh, with the uh, intake kit. Sorry if you guys can hear the wind. It's super windy outside today. Uh, the only thing left we got to do is we got to change the jets out of the carburetor. I wanted to break it up into two different videos because uh, I didn't want this video to be super, super, super long. So I'm gonna take it to the gas station, fill it up with some gas. Does anybody know how many beers we can put in this cubby hole? I'm gonna be curious. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take it for a ride, see how I like it. And then the next video, uh, like I said, will be you know, my purchasing experience on how much the, uh, the Navi costs, the freight, the shipping, now the out the door and all that stuff. And then we'll do the, uh, we'll do the jets for the carburetor. Um, yeah, and I, I cannot wait to get an exhaust for this thing. Like I said, this bike is an absolute blast to drive. We got exactly 19 miles on it. I love it. And we got an intake on it already. So, yep. Thank you all for the uh, all the new subscribers uh, for the small bore stuff. I do appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to uh, build, build these bikes on the channel. The Navi, the Grom. Still going to do uh, Type R content, truck content, and all that stuff. But thank you to all my new followers. Or subscribers and thank you to everybody who's been with me since the beginning of this uh, journey thank you all so much for watching leave this video a big thumbs up even if you didn't like today's video leave it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications and I'll catch y'all in the next video peace